in this video we are going to add the custom domain in our app service we have covered a lot of uh, app service topics already and we all know when we create an app service and after the deployment this is the URL that will allow us to browse our website if I click on it it will give me the default page because I have not added anything in this app service as a source code but this is the URL we need to change it we do not want anybody to access the URL with azurewebsite.net right we want it for example let's suppose this is our website workout so we want them to browse workout.com just like amazon.com or flipkart.com or anything instead of amazon.azurewebsite.net you know what i mean so this is what we are going to do here the only thing you need to take care of is your azure service plan your app service plan in azure it should support or it should have the custom domain feature i don't believe it is there in free free app service plan right now we can check it this is a free service plan you can see here f1 free and if i go to custom domain it's not sufficient enough it's not good enough we need to create it again with standard plan so that i would have the option to add my own domain i own pachera.live and i have this domain hosted in godaddy i have bought it from the godaddy and it is still there okay so uh, when i click on add domain right here under custom domain i will get an option add domain right here if i would have the plan which supports customizing a domain let me go ahead and quickly create that one and show you all right uh we are back now this workout website is with standard plan and i do have this option to add custom domain you only need to click on that and validate your domain i might might need not to do it again because it's been done a couple of times when i was preparing for it so if i click on validate it will give you two options just like we validate our domain by other means like creating the text record or a record for example if you have a you know vix.com websites you're aware of or the bloggers.com if you own your domain you can add your domain after the validation so that's how you can validate your domain with the help of a record or c name record okay if you do a record that means you are going to add the ip address and a text record ip address may change so it is always recommended you add the c name which is uh, this workout.azurewebsite.net it would remain same your ip address may get changed so for production environment it is always recommended you create a c name but this is our lab and i've created uh, i'm going to create the a record for it okay and i'll show you so i have uh, validated this okay so i can click on add custom domain already and i'll show you how i did it this is my GoDaddy domain manager you can see and i have created these two records right here a record with this ip address which is my app service ip address and 
a text record right here so this validated my uh, ownership of the domain and this is going to divert pachera.live to workout.azurewebsite.net cool so let's quickly go ahead and check it out if I click on let's go here copy this and try browse this it says practice and learn with this demo adding custom domain in your app this is my customized page that I have added in this app service with the help of deployment center FTP that we have already covered now let me go ahead and try to browse Pachera dot live I should get the same page hopefully if it has been synced because sometimes it takes uh, more time than usual and it always states when you add your domain from 0 to 48 hours it might take see it is saying this so no problem but you got the point right what I can do I can try to restart my app service and try it again uh, it might take more but we cannot hold that long of course right so I hope this is clear how to add customize or custom domain in your app service so that you can browse your application or your website with the help of your domain let me try this is incognito right yeah, no let me open this in incognito was it yeah it seems like so let me try to browse it again if it helps or if it sync is done one last time sometimes it take yeah it will take some time and because I know I have done this demonstration a couple of times in past and it will take some time and it will sync and pachera.live will dive it to workout.azurewebsite.net and everything would be taken care of.